Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ballet at Brand. So this is going to be a start of a new channel. And I want this channel not to be uh, solely focused on cryptocurrency or hex, but instead, I want this video or this channel and this video uh, to kind of broadly cover some of the SciVive and some of the self-help that Richard Hart has talked about and that he's also lived. Uh, the reason why I think this is so important is because, you know, um, people like myself or a lot of the hexagons, uh, we've we've done very well and continue to do very well um, financially, right? But then that's just one aspect of life, and so there's other things, uh, relationships, uh, management, you know, business, things like this, friendships that uh, that come as well with the you know financial category right so you don't want to just be good at one thing you want to be well-rounded and balanced in all the things in life for you know a happy successful uh, long-lasting life so without further ado this first video it's going to be on like mentality your mindset and how even if you are not successful right now and even if you're not wealthy right now or healthy, whatever goal you're trying to achieve, it starts up here, right? It starts with the thought. And most people just stop there, right? Most people just have very bland goals, very unspecific goals. Um, so the more that you can take a goal and specify it in detail, and then also, instead of just thinking about it, if you can also write it down too and have more energy into that work, then generally you'll be able to do a lot better than just the people that that just think about it in their head. Okay, so without further ado, let me go over to the video. This is a clip that I made. It's uh, being rich versus being wealthy. It's a state of mind, Richard Hart. Let's listen to 30 seconds to a minute of this clip. My question is very short. So are you, sir, so are you. <laughs> I have 10,000 hacks. Okay. How long time it take me to be rich? <laughs> well, so I tell you, I tell you a funny thing about being rich. Rich is a state of mind. There's no number that will actually make you feel rich. I can tell you as a person who's got a lot of numbers, I got a lot of numbers, and usually I don't feel rich. Usually, I really don't. I gotta tell you, man. You pick up the phone here, call downstairs. No one's answering. I don't care who you are. <laughs> you call from offsite. You're like, hey, maybe they answer the remote phone. Call from the cell phone. They're not answering. Supposedly, if I was our hotel, I don't feel rich. It's the same for everybody. So if you want to truly, if you really, truly want to feel wealthy, it's a state of mind. If you focus on what you have, you will feel wealthy. If you focus on what you do not have, you will feel poor. And it doesn't matter how much you have. And the worst thing is the more that you have, the more opportunity you miss. The more that you have, the more tax you pay. The more that you have, the more your friends steal from you. The more that you have, the more select the things you want are, you can't even get them. You get into a waiting list. Oh, you want the newest Ferrari? How many other Ferraris do you have with us, sir? Okay. So that is a, you know, a general part of the clip that I wanted to play. Once again, that's the founder of Hex. That's the founder of SciVive, which is like a self-help book. And I'll tell you what, there's so many different topics, so many different passages. And this is just one brief video, right? It's my pilot video for the uh, Sci-Viving Hexican YouTube channel. But I really agree with what Richard has said. And, you know, finance was never something that I had succeeded in the past. And, you know, it's continuing to get better and continuing to become a reality as far as the succession. But um, as far as other goals too, right? Uh, I've gained a little bit of weight and uh, especially from last year. And, you know, part of having that change that I want to happen is focusing on what I want to happen versus focusing on, you know, being overweight and focusing on the negative. Uh, because whatever you do focus on and whatever you point your energy towards, it'll kind of amplify those effects. So for me personally, whether it's finance once again, or um, even, even being healthy can kind of be a state of mind, right? Instead of focusing on, you know, I don't want to do this today, I can start focusing on like, hey, um, I would like to get, say, 10,000 steps or I would like to do 45 minutes to an hour worth of cardio today. And then also other things as well. Use tools 
that can make you successful as opposed to using tools and technology to make you complacent. And what I mean, for example, is what I've got right here, uh, a smartwatch. So this smartwatch is a tool that I just bought recently, and it's going to allow me to uh, detail and measure the goals that I have and the things that I want to achieve. Uh, so once again, being wealthy is a state of mind. And I, I implore and I suggest people take this channel very seriously and the SciVibe book itself very seriously. Um, because if you, if you want something, if you want to achieve something, you have to put yourself in that position first. You know, you have to put yourself in the position that you, you think you're worthy of, of being healthy, right? Physically and mentally, um, and same thing, wealthy. And the reason that this is also important is, is practicing what you want your future to look like is because sometimes getting wealthy can happen almost overnight. Doesn't generally happen with health, so it's a little bit different. But people have what's called sudden wealth syndrome. These are people that have won lotteries, that say signed a, uh, a major contract, right, for sports. And I find out, we find out through history, that some of these people that, you know, they never thought that they were going to be in the position they are in then, um, which is wildly, wildly wealthy. But the thing that they didn't plan for usually, and what we see is say family members coming around and always asking for money or even just material items in general, right? A lot of people that say get a lot of wealth, they tend to not necessarily manage their wealth as much as they would like to. They tend to you know, spend it more frivolously and just kind of willy nilly without thinking about it um, as much. You know, So when you've got a little bit of wealth, or when you've got a, a, a set budget, you need to plan how much your groceries are, right? How much all of these other bills are. But sometimes you can get to a point of, of excess wealth where it's like, oh, I don't care how much this is. Let's just buy it. Let's just buy it. And then those kind of habits that you used to have that you're not practicing anymore, they can really catch up to you where all of a sudden at the end of the year, you know, you've spent X amount of dollars and you might not even know where half that money, if not more than that, has gone. So once again, this is a introduction video uh, to my Sciviving Hexakin channel. Um, I chose that name specifically because life is always a journey, right? Um, I, as I mentioned, my, my videos a year ago, uh, I was a lot more healthy physically and uh, you know wasn't as, as wealthy, right? And had kind of made that sacrifice. And now it's like, you know, what, what good is all of the wealth in the world if, you, if your body doesn't feel good, if your mind doesn't feel good, um, if, you're, if you're making a major sacrifice. So this channel and these videos are also to keep myself accountable, right? Anytime that you've got something um, in, in video form, especially when it's being published to, uh, to my YouTube channels, then it allows the audience to keep me more accountable. And so I'm working on goals daily. Uh, the last thing that I'll say is, once again, I su suggest that people make like a journal and start writing down their goals of what they do want, not just for health, not just for wealth, but all of the aspects in life that you want. Um, because you'll find yourself, if, if you're just fulfilled in say wealth or just fulfilled in say health, but maybe not relationships, you might be lacking something that, uh, that you're looking for right? So that's all I have. I want to make this under a 10 minute video. Uh, thanks again, everyone for watching. Please give me some feedback. Uh, we're testing out the new microphone setup. So I'm hoping to um, upscale and make better the actual production quality, the audio quality, and the content quality. We're going to try and keep this channel not crypto based, but we're going to keep it strictly to self-help and then also my journey, right? I want to document my successes, my failures, so we can all learn from them together. And so we can grow together and achieve the things that we all want to do. So thank you, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Okay.